Oh, hi. Hello. Are we live? Oh, we are live. Hello. Um, all right. Let us carry on with our mail opening. Let's see which one should we open next. Let's go for this one. This is from Australia. She has so nicely decorated it with washi tape, but there's just a small hole just right there and there's a tear there again for me if the envelope seems as thin as this one i would be sealing up all of the vital the vital parts here australia let's see my trusty samurai sword da 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 oopsie daisy let's see what's inside can you see anything well, it, it sort of gave a little bit of a clue here. It says there, all right, let's name it Facebook group I'm in, sticky notes tag and favorites tag. Let's see what she came up with. Read the note first. Read the notes first. The note says, you have received a tag from Lizzie for the sticky notes. And there should be another note if she has included a favorite, but it's not here. This is cool. I like this. So that is sticky note number one. Post-it notes, but I believe it's a llama. Sort of a purple-ish color, and I love purple color. More sticky notes. Look, this is awesome. And she sent over some, hmm, hang on. No, this is not part of the sticky notes. All right, three packs of sticky notes. This is my favorite, obviously, because it's just so nice and so colorful. Oh, there is another sticky note that was just sticking on that envelope it is another llama before we move on let me just make sure that there are no more sticky notes stuck anywhere she sent over favorite tags and favorite tags means she will be sending me items that are on my favorite list we have a list on the facebook group where we have to write down all our favorite items just in case you know somebody feels like sending stuff our way then they could just refer to the favorites list and just see what they could send or be inspired by what they could send her note here says favorites tag tropical beach stickers embellishments die cuts flavored tea times four cultural postcard aboriginal homelands mm. color in note card plus envelope hope you like it all yes of course i always like all the stuff i've been sent Okay, so this would be the color in notes card. It is blank inside. It comes with an envelope. Cultural background, Aboriginal homelands. That is so cool. The quality of the postcard is quite lovely as well. And it's quite thick. And it is just very colorful. And you all know that I love postcards, right? So this is perfect. That is definitely on my favorite list. And so we have this bag of stickers, embellishments, and die cuts. This one here, so you've got the, hmm, ah, this one is embellishment. That is not, those are not stickers. That's the embellishments, I believe. Yes, I think so. Sticker sheet, that's quite lovely. All those lovely die cuts that are in there. These are very, very beautiful. Die cuts are something that I simply cannot get in Macau as well. So this is very, very much appreciated. And the last one on the list are flavored tea times four. Four twinnings tea. Twining, twinning. Yes, yes. I'll search in line to find out how to pronounce it properly so I don't keep embarrassing myself like this. First off, strawberry, raspberry, and loganberry. Ginger and apple. What's the German word for ginger? Ingwer. See, I remember that. Green tea and mint. Chamomile, honey, and vanilla. Those are awesome. That package is from Australia. Thank you very much. Hello. I'm just reaching for the next piece of mail that I should open. Let's open up this one, which is from Japan. A lot of the members on the Facebook group love receiving mail from this very very generous and artsy lady her name is satsuki they love her mail because her envelopes are always very nicely decorated and she really uses a lot of stamps a huge variety of stamps look at how awesome 
I told some of the members that I am in love with some of the stamps and I hope that they can send them my way because I do collect used postage stamps as well. And she was like, oh, let me use low denomination stamps in my next mail for you so you could cut them all out. And she did. Look at that. I love this one. This is like an Olympic. I love this one too. This is a Japanese lady. And then all these other ones are just so awesome. The Japanese just have really, really amazing stamps. Just so lovely. Okay, let's see what she has got for us. Hands and Nemo sheets. Da -da -da -da. Samurai sword. Oh, and I love the washi tape she used on it as well. Alright, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a little bit hard to open. My samurai sword couldn't do it. That's the inside of the package. Can you see the inside of the package? <laughs> that's just me being goofy, sorry. That is a pack of Mimo sheets. I love Mimo sheets. I love sticky notes. I love everything. You guys know that. And pens purple pens i love these pens too i came across these pens once uh, last year at the hong kong book fair i bought several of these pens and it wasn't only until i got back to macau that i realized that these pens are actually really really awesome they write really well and for writing postcards and addresses and all that they are actually very very nice to write with Sadly, I couldn't buy any of these pens in Macau and I've gone to a couple of stationery stores in Hong Kong and they don't seem to have them as well. So I was quite happy when Satsuki sent me some of these pens a couple of weeks ago and now she sent me some more. And she sent me purple ones because I said purple was my favorite color. I was just looking at the labels here and these pens are apparently made by Tumble, double tipped. So one side is quite fine. And then the other side is quite thick. I love using the thick end for writing out addresses on envelopes. When I first got these pens last year, I would use the fine tip to write my letters and they are just really very, very nice to write with. So if you find them, I recommend them. So let's see what else is in this package. You have received a tag and wish. I should have read the note first, right? I've got some loose memo sheets, flamingo ones. Love flamingos as well. These cool ones. Yeah, unicorn one. Your dreams come true. I hope they do come true. Enjoy tonight. More loose ones. Some larger ones. Some of these writing sheets. I believe this is the first time I've actually received anything Snoopy or anything Peanuts. And there are so many of them. Look. I have an idea what I want to use them for. I'm not really a diehard fan of Snoopy, but after looking at these pieces of papers, I could understand why several members like them. I've watched Snoopy and of course I've seen some of the comics a long time ago. I don't keep an eye out for them, if you know what I mean. I know exactly what I'm going to use them for. I will share with you my idea next time. There's a plain envelope and... Can you see what's inside? <laughs> ah, looks like there are more postage stamps. God, this girl's just awesome. Look at that. So those are used postage stamps from Japan. Oh, look at that. Oh, let me show you this ones first. And then I'll show you what I'm ooing and owing about. That, that, there is so many oh this is nice that has got gold accents on it <laughs> oh this is probably one of my favorites only because again i love so many things and this is one of them look at that an actual champagne bottle on a stamp an actual champagne bottle how awesome is that there's a round one a christmas one and then the thing that i was ooing and eyeing about first this one sushi well, not sushi. I forgot what this is called, but this is one of my favorite snacks. And the stamp itself is shaped in a triangle, which is the shape of that particular snack. And then this one, 
Mario stamps. Mario stamps. Who does not love Mario? When I was in Japan last year and I was mailing out postcards and such, I actually saw a whole sheet of Mario stamps. And I was thinking to myself, maybe I should get them. And the whole sheet cost less than a thousand yen. And I was like, oh, I want to get them, I want to get them. But in the end, I did not get them. And I've been kicking myself ever since for not getting them. And now I have. It's only two, but at least I have something. Next time I go to Japan, I'm going to be buying that whole sheet of Mario stamps. Seriously, Japan has also got some cool postage stamps. I think they've got one of the nicest postage stamps I've seen. Alright, so that is a package from Japan. I most especially love the pens. Actually, I love everything. Thank you very much for this, Satsuki. It is a lovely package. Quite unexpected. Alright, let's move on to the next piece of mail. What shall we open next? Let's see. Alright, so let's open up this piece of mail. A rather long envelope from America. She used two international stamps, so this is a little bit thicker, as you can see. From Ashley Frank. I'm not sure what is in this envelope, but that's why we're opening it. Okay, I think I know what this is. Can you see? Let's see if I can find a note. Notes, 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 no note. Oh, there it is. There's the note. Here are your four tourist brochures. So sorry they're late. I wasn't able to get to a place that has them. That's fine if you're late. Look at that. I, <laughs> I like brochures too. Um, a few months ago, somebody sent me some brochures that were included in a package that wasn't the main item of the package but she decided to throw them in. The brochures were from Wisconsin in the US and they just look really amazing and it was my first time receiving brochures but not the first time collecting them. Whenever I travel to other countries, sometimes I do try to bring back some brochures and some of the maps, you know, just as a souvenir. And um, after I received the brochures from Wisconsin, I was thinking to myself, it would be nice if I could receive brochures from other places in the US and from other places in general. So there's the Crayola experience. Covered bridges of Lehigh or Lehigh Valley, two rivers area, Lehigh Valley Zoo. Just trying to determine where Lehigh is. PA, PA is Pennsylvania. Here are the four brochures. Let's take a look at the zoo map. Ah, that is quite nice. Look at that. Very nice, very colorful. They have got lots of cool things here. How about the two rivers area? Now that is a proper... Look at, look at that. You know what? I'll do a review on, on all these maps in a bit. Or sometime. I like this one. That is so awesome. It's just a very simple brochure, but it looks really, really colorful. I like things that are colorful as well. Alright, so that is from Miss Ashley Frank. Thank you very much for this brochure. I want to open up another piece of mail before we go. So this is from one of my good friends. Her name is Shirley from the US. She is more of a pen pal than anything else. I like her colorful envelope, but I'm just surprised how our postal services managed to read the address. It doesn't look very clear to me. Let's see what my friend Shirley has for me. Is there a note? There is a note. All it says is, please enjoy. I will enjoy. I enjoy everything. Nice! She sent over some washi samples. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Good times and tan lines. I like those as well. Ah, this is nice. Very colorful. Very, very summery. Sunny vibes. Fun in the sun. Flip-flops. And no, those are not donuts. <laughs> oh, and a postcard. This, I believe, is another postcard from Michaels. Ooh, cool stuff. And some stickers. Oh, llama stickers. Look at that. They are really, really cool. They look so colorful. I love these washi samples. I believe this whole package is a rack, which means a random act of kindness. Thank you very much, Shirley. Washi tapes such as this, I won't be able to get here in Macau, and I just love all the designs on them. Beautiful and simple package. Thank you so much, Shirley. Let's see what we shall open up next. Stay tuned!